good evening and welcome dear everyone dear students and the speaker of the day mr avinash rade dear students i feel privileged to announce learn from home webinar series for other medium schools following my english course book 10 organized by mnet with the technical support of inet connect featuring speakers like dr manjushri sardesh pande the chairperson of the board of studies balwati pune mr nadeem khan academic coordinator of jaisra aurangabad and board of studies member balwati pune mr avinash rade board of studies member balwati pune mr mahesh bhankar board of studies member balwati pune mr bhuvnesh kumar board of studies member balwati pune Mr. Pundalik Kaviraj, Board of Studies Member, Balbhati, Pune; State Resource Person of Chesra, Aurangabad; Mrs. Nandini Bhatkar, State Resource Person of Chesra, Aurangabad. Learn from Home Webinar Series has started from 31st of August 2020 and is going to continue till 17th of September daily, except Sunday at 7 p.m. This series would provide a wonderful platform to know and understand your English activity sheet. I request all our participants to be a part of the series that would guide you to deal your English activity sheet according to the state board norms and criteria. And it's privilege to introduce our speaker for this evening, Mr. Avinash Rade. Sir has been teaching English for standard nine. to standard 12 at lal bahadur shastri high school manol he is a member of the board of studies for standard 11 and 12 yuva bharti english course book for the state of maharashtra and also the textbook writer for the same his purpose of education has been to be leaders thus he has been a resource person for teachers of palghar taluka at primary and secondary level of english course book from standard 1 to standard 8 As a resource person of Maharashtra, he has conducted training programs for teachers of standard ninth and tenth on the revised syllabus. Presently, he is working as a state level resource person for standard twelve teachers for the introduction of the revised syllabus and evaluation pattern. He has also been working as a resource person for the junior college English teacher at in service training program. At a very young age of twenty six, he has begun. His journey of teaching teachers almost twice a day, and since since then there has been no looking back. Constantly on his toes, organizing various programs and workshops for the teacher. His endeavor to create dynamic teachers reflects in the fact that he has worked as a master trainer for British Council for Primary Teachers and for Yashoda as an Apex Training Institute of Maharashtra and RMSC. Having awakened joy in learning amongst his own students especially those from adivasi background he is also a guest lecturer for standard 10 and standard 12 students in many schools, colleges and organization he has been working with thawale trust and each one each one organization since 9 years for coaching english at standard 9 and standard 10 students presently he is working as the president of palghar english teachers association and a treasurer of registered association for the english teachers of maharashtra and evelta by introducing spell bee competition in remote areas of maharashtra he has made english language a child's play with innovative interactive sessions sir is also the recipient of the best teachers award from maharashtra shikshan seva konkan region uh, sir avinash rade sir i welcome you And so is going to take uh, question number three, that is poem appreciation. So, uh, so you can. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for your wonderful introduction. Uh, uh, sessions. Shall we begin? I think my screen is visible, right? Yes, ma'am. The yes, screen is visible. Yes, visible, sir. You can proceed. Okay. Yes, yes. Uh, so, uh, uh, students, today we are going for poem for comprehension. So, before moving to the activity sheet, I think the word comprehension needs to be understood in a better way. So, let's find out. I think there is one student from tenth B, Samaya. I guess is it there, ma'am? Yes, sir. 
There is a student in meeting. Yes, Sadia is there. Sabia, yeah, will you Sabia please is there the and poem? some more students are joining. Okay, Sabia, will you please read the poem aloud? Or shall I? Sadia? Okay, ma'am. I'll continue myself. So what we are supposed to do whenever we are going for the activity sheet at that time, we have to read the poem first. So first reading is important. Here we have a poem. And uh, I think the first reading will be there after the first reading, uh, we have to go for the next activity. That is, these are the these are some of the general questions that needs to be asked. For example, who is speaking? So if we read the poem, what is the answer? I want the session to be quite interactive. So can I get some responses, ma'am? Who is speaking in the poem? The first question. I'll read the poem aloud for you. Yes, sir. Uh, today on a bus, I saw a lovely girl with silken hair. I envied her. She seemed so gay. And I wished I was so fair when suddenly she rose to leave. I saw her hobble down the aisle. Oh God, forgive me when I whine. I have two legs, the world is mine. And then I stopped to buy some sweets. The lad who sold them had such charm. I talked with him, he seemed so calm. And if I were late, it would do no harm. And as I left, he said to me, I thank you, you have been so kind. It's nice to talk with folks like you, you see I'm blind. Oh God, forgive me when I whine. I have two eyes, the world is mine. Later walking down the street, I saw a child with eyes of blue. He stood and watched the others play. It seems he knew not what to do. I stopped a moment. Then I said, why don't you join the others, dear? He looked ahead without a word and then I knew he could not hear. Oh God, forgive me when I whine. I have two years, the world is mine. With legs to take me wherever I'll go, with eyes to see the sunsets glow, with ears to hear what I would know. Oh God, forgive me when I whine. I'm blessed indeed, the world is mine by J.L. Crawford. Yes, ma'am. Do we have any answer? Who is yeah, speaking? One in the answer. Poem? Who, yes. Who's speaking? The poet is speaking. The poet is speaking. Very nice. We have the next question. How many persons are there in the poem? How many? So here, what are we trying to do? We are trying to get the general idea of the poem. Right? So when we read the first, this is just a kind of skimming activity. Uh, this is the first impression of the poem. So how many persons are there? Is there any answer? No, no, sir. Two. Can we count them? Let us count them. The poet is there. The four, lovely girl. Some, some are saying three. Some are saying four. Some are saying two. Okay. So we'll count them. The poet is the first person. Then the girl. Then the boy who is selling the sweets. Then the boy who is witnessing the game. How many persons are there? Four. There are four persons mentioned in the poem, right? The next question is, what is the condition of the person? So we have to think about uh, condition of each and every person. So how is the poet? And how is the lovely girl? How is the boy? And how is the other boy? So we'll think about it afterwards in detail. So we, we should get the general idea of this. And how does the poet feel at the end? So this focuses the last stanza. So the, we find that the poet, poet says that I am blessed. In one word, we get the idea that the poet is very happy with whatever uh, is given to him, right? So this is the first uh, step towards comprehension. Still, we have not comprehended anything. So let's go to the next stanza. Uh, the same stanza is there, but I have highlighted some of the words. And the highlighted words are, can anybody tell? Girl, gay, hobbled down, and two legs. 
so these are uh, what i think that these are the most prominent words from the stanza when you uh, connect all these words you find that there is some kind of connection that a girl and the girl was very uh, happy and when we say that she hobbled down it means that she is not able to walk so that same meaning can be taken from these words and then the poet speaks about his two legs so this is what is general uh, appearance of this poem now after reading the first stanza now what are we doing we are going for the details and these activities are taking place in your mind he sagla apan aplya manat karta aho te sab hamare dimag mein chal raha hai ki hum stanza pad ke us pe kya react karenge so let's find out after reading the first stanza what comes so here we find that i have segregated the sentences if i want to answer uh, we have to think we have to frame smaller sentences so here i have framed many small sentences and the sentences are uh, the speaker was on a bus she saw a lovely girl she had silk hair she envied her because she was so happy or gay she wanted to be fair like her she liked her complexion the girl began to get up to leave she could not walk properly she was disabled when she moved forward the poet is thank god for the legs and she realized her complaint everyone should think of his or her abilities the girl could not walk properly but she was happy this is what is the comprehension and uh, you will come to know that i have tried to comprehend the poem by getting the smaller details i have cut the uh, stanza into many parts and i have framed many sentences we cannot get uh, i have not uh, written that the uh, the the poet saw a lovely girl and the girl had the silken hair and uh, the why the poet saw her when she was on bus so instead of making a larger sentences if you keep the sentences smaller it will help you to understand it in a better way and if you understand it in a better way it will help you to write in a better way so here uh, we move forward to the next stanza and here also you find that some of the words are underlined or uh, highlighted and these words are lad charm calm blind and two eyes so here also you find that these are some of the most important words that means there is a lad lad means a boy and the boy had a charm he was charming but he was very calm and finally we come to understand that yes the boy is blind so this is what you get the general idea about the boy and when you go for the details you find that the speaker shares another experience she saw a boy who sold sweets he had a charm he was calm he was very courteous the child thanked the speaker he declared that he was blind he could not see anything but he was very nice he was calm he was not angry his behavior was very good towards other the speaker thanks god for giving two eyes she learns a lot from the boy she asks for forgiveness whenever she does not use her eyes and complain so in this way we are trying to get the complete meaning of the poem we will finish it and then we will come back to the comprehension activities the next stanza says later walking down here also you find that some of the important words are highlighted and they are a child watched the others play don't you join could not hear by joining these uh, highlighted sentences we can uh, get the general idea that a child watch others play but he could not join because he could not hear anything that's why because of the physical inability the child was not able to participate in the game and the poet th thanks god because he has he is uh, gifted with the two ears and he feels that the world is his when we think about this general idea and when we go for the details we find that the speaker meets a child down the street he had captivating blue eyes he watched others who were playing the poet is asked him why he did not join the play he did not say anything the poet is understood that he could not listen he was deaf the speaker asks for forgiveness whenever she makes a complaint because she did not believe in her ability the poetess is happy as she has two ears 
she can make use of them instead of complaining so this is what is the general comprehension of the poem uh, stanza and this is the last stanza and it summarizes the whole poem and here we have the highlighted words legs eyes and ears so we find that the legs eyes and ears are really very important limbs in our body so they are extremely important for all of us because the legs help us to take us anywhere that we wish to go the eyes uh, that give us the perception the understanding of the whole world and the ears also help us to understand in a better way and with all these abilities the poet feels that he, she is blessed poetess feel that she is blessed so here we find that the poetess can move anywhere as she has legs he is free sorry she is free uh, here there is a mistake sorry uh, she can see the beauty of glowing sunset because of her eyes uh, she can hear everything with ears the poetess is blessed because she is physically fit and fine she understands that she should focus on making use of what she has she can do a lot with this the poetess focuses on physical fitness and inner happiness we can win the world if we believe in our strengths the poetess asks us to be proud of her possessions so in this way we are uh, uh, going for the same poem so here can i have the interaction with the uh, participants ma'am i've got no question Sir. no i don't want any question so uh, what uh, will you be able to get the meanings like this yes sir I stop sharing and then we will come to the uh, participants yes sir let's go to the chat do you think do you think that uh, uh you are able to get the meanings or comprehend the poem in this way so this is a question to the learners if you uh, if we are uh, done with this part then we will move forward towards the activities because the topic of a uh, uh, today's uh, session is comprehension of the poem so this is the first step towards the comprehension if you are not able to comprehend in a better way you will not be able to give justice to the activities that are given in the activity sheets so do you find anything ma'am no sir so i would yes. like to uh, answer if there are some queries regarding this Or shall I move forward? I'm not getting any answers. Sir. Not getting any answer. Okay, then I'll move forward. Then I'll share the screen again. So, shall you move forward? Yes, ma'am. So I'm moving forward because. Uh, up to this we have understood that okay we can comprehend the poem Asya, in the thing yes sir we have understood okay thank you very much uh, this uh, generally the students do not look at the poem in this way or look at the passage in this way so you have to think uh, from the point of view of the comprehension so we are moving forward so this is the first impression after second reading you will uh, after the first reading you will get the general idea that we are already done with after second reading we will get all these details that is scanning and now we are moving for the activities based on the poem so this is section 3 which is which is based on poetry and uh, this is question number 3a poem for comprehension it is asked for 5 marks right and here we have three activities activity number 1 is simple factual activity which is uh, which carries two marks uh, activity number 2 is complex factual activity which is uh, for two marks and then we have activity number 3 related with poetic devices which is for one mark so here we need to understand yesterday mr uh, kaviraj also uh, talked about all the simple factual and uh, complex factual activities so there is not much difference in that but yes we will think about all these activities from the point of view of the poem so here uh, we have the same poem uh, we have already comprehended it in the in this way right 
so this is the same comprehension that we have understood and here is a list of the simple factual activities so what kind of activities do we have in simple factual activities so we have match the following name the following we can we are asked to associate the characters with the qualities we can be asked to arrange the sentences in proper order according uh, to their appearance in the uh, stanza we may be asked mcq or uh, choose correct alternative we are asked to find a proof the completion of the web uh, then uh, finding out the positive and negative aspects that are given in the poem uh, then match ws questions with answer this may be the interesting activity who said to whom and who am i and uh, you will uh, you have in a practice of all this because all these simple factual activities are taken from your course book from your textbook all these activities are there in your textbook so there is nothing new after completion of the assignments you you are already done with all these activities but yes, yes doubt, right sir. now yes ma'am yes rao to say uh he wants to know something about simple and complex activity In yes short, yes i am coming i am coming to that i i am just going for the types of activities that we can have here now you will find that as we go for the activities we will discuss them so here we have the activity one activity uh, what kind of activity is it so you have a list over there so what is this activity just give me the name the the name of the activity is there any answer ma'am no sir it's a web chat sir yes complete the web very nice so here we are about to find at the center the topic is given and the topic is qualities of the boy here we find that only one quality of the boy and it is related to one boy only and there is only one detail so when we speak about it it's a simple fact it can be found in a simple sentence single and it's related to only one person you don't have to go through the uh, uh, go for the whole poem whole stanza so it is related with a single person you find that the qualities of the boy are he had charm he was calm he had good manners and the second thing he was patient santosh so all these are facts related words yes related they are not related words these are the qualities that are mentioned that are associated with the boy related word is something different that we can have in the vocabulary activity like we had yesterday in a3 right so here uh, we are finding the facts what is fact so when you read the sentence whatever comes the fact that is all alone so here do we find any connection with the charm and calmness do you find any connection with calmness and good manners do you find any connection with the good manners and being patient no they are separate right so each activity or each sentence is a separate fact so this is a fact only and when we go for the complex factual the name itself says that yes so many of the facts are brought together here we have separate facts and in the activity number 2 we will think about it afterwards let's go to the simple activity simple factual activities first so here we find that all the activities are a uh, separate they deal with a particular topic and we are moving to the next thing what kind of activity is this so there are two columns a and b and can i get the answers as well uh -huh. what kind of activity is this what will what may be the title of this activity match the pair so here you have the poem you have the explanation and you have the activity as well yes ma'am match the pair shivani say matching the pair matching yes it's match the following there are two columns and what is the answer of the first one the boy
What's the answer? Write down the yes, answer, students. The students have answered them. No, they are writing math the pair. What's the answer for the boy? Ah, what is the boy? Nice, sweet sailor. Okay, yes, uh, we'll get Nandini the answer saying, afterwards. Nandini is saying huh? sweet sailor. Sailor. Pardon, ma'am, I'm not getting your voice. Uh, it's it's breaking. Sweet sailor. Okay, sweet sailor. Sweet. So hmm. we will not go for more answers. I just want you to go through this. So we have next activity as well. What is this activity? A, B, C, D. Yes, students, you can answer them. You can just find out. Here, I'm not explaining any kind of activity and I'm not explaining the statements as well. Because whenever you are going for the examination activity, uh, for the activity sheet, at that time, you need to think about this. Okay. Uh, the uh, treatment that we need to give to the activity is different for all the activities. So you have to think about the activity and you have to present it in the same way that is asked, that is required. In sequence. Yes, or in the sentences in proper order or in hmm. sequence. So we find that I, according to the appearance that is in the stanza, we have to arrange them. So here again, I would like to explain that the simple factual activities are uh, simple facts. That means a fact is given. A general statement about a particular person is given. And they are not related. Here you find that the blindness of the boy is not related. Okay. Then the realization of the poetess is not related. Uh, the admiration of the boy is not related. There are different facts. That's why the four facts are asked for the activity and they are simple but when we move forward we are taking the next transa uh, i am deliberately uh, going in a different manner so here you find that there are complex factual activities and which are asked for two marks so uh, the most probable activities are you may be asked the wh questions you may be asked to find the proof uh, a statement will be given and your opinion will be asked whether you agree or disagree. Um, most probably there may be completion of the web, but yes, the treatment will be different. Completion of the table, the treatment will be different. So everything will be different. So you have to write those facts which depend on each other. That's why they are complex. Let's find out what are they. So here I have given you the flow chart of the given situation and these situations are, these flowcharts are really connected to each other because every point is related to the last point. You will find it. The uh, last uh, point is that the poet is blessed for fitness and there are two blanks and so you are supposed to give them blanks. So here you, you have to go through each and every line you need to understand each and every word and you need to understand the whole poem. So here I have just taken one stanza. That's why it's a limited activity. But yes, I can ask for the flow chart, the write about the events. For example, if you have the activity, write about the experiences of the poetess. So when I ask you to write about the experiences of the poetess, you will write the experience of the first person, the boy. You will write the experience of the second, the girl, then the boy, and the last, the third, the boy. So all these information uh, is to be put together. This is what is called complex factual. Uh, when we move forward here now, we are moving to the next words. Uh, here the adjectives are there. And what are the adjectives? How is the girl? The girl is lovely. Okay. How is the girl? She is gay or happy. How are the hair? Uh, silken. 
and how is the girl she is fair so you find that there are adjectives used in the poem uh, the rhyming pairs are there when you think about the poem okay if it has any a rhyme scheme only then you will get the rhyming pairs if it's not then you may say that yes a free verse is used it's a free verse it's an example of a free verse but as we find that yes rhyming pairs are there so we have the rhyme scheme and how do we go for the rhyme scheme we find that the first line ends with here and here we are using letter a the second line ends with fair and fair rhymes with the first word that is here that's how we are using letter a again but the third line ends with i'll so it does not rhyme with a it does not rhyme with here or fair that's how we are using b but when we go for the fourth line it ends with wine and it does not rhyme with either here fair or i'll so we are getting the next letter that is c and the last line it rhymes with the line that comes before it mine wine so we are using c again so we can say that the rhyme scheme is a a b c c so here you find that i have taken i have think i have thought about all these points initially i thought thought about the adjectives then i thought about the rhyming pairs and after getting the rhyming pairs i went to the rhyme scheme and in this way i have uh, just explored this stanza but whenever you are going for the activity sheet you have to explore the whole poem in this way each and every stanza the whole poem because you may have any activity sometimes what happens that you have the activities in this way uh, what are they so these are the figures of speech so here we find that the in uh, the uh, the examples of figures of speech are used only in this stanza so this example is inversion today on a bus i saw a lovely girl with silken hair that may be the proper order but we have the another order today on a bus i saw a lovely girl with silken hair so you can arrange it in the same way uh, alliteration some same consonant sound is repeated seems so gay the consonant sound is repeated in this stanza apostrophe is used that means oh god the poetess is addressing the god on matter pia wine what what is the meaning of wine a long high pitched complaining cry so the meaning itself or the pronunciation itself gives us the idea of wine so or uh, give or make a long high pitched complaining cry or sound that is another meaning so here here we have these uh, things so why have i focused on adjectives rhyming pairs rhyme scheme and the figures of speech this is the next activity that you have that is activity number 3 poetic devices sir yes ma'am they want to know what is inversion inversion means the word order the word order is not correct subject verb object is the uh, usual word order but here you find that uh, the word order is changed jave shabdanche apan vakya banavto tyavels kavitela राइम मिळवण्यासाठी यमक मिळवण्यासाठी आपण शब्दांची इकडे तिकडे जागा बदलतो इट इज कॉल्ड इन्वर्जन वी चेंज द वर्ड ऑर्डर फॉर द सेक ऑफ द पोएटिक ब्युटी फॉर गेटिंग द रायमिंग पेयर्स और राइम स्कीम वेन वी चेंज इन दिस वे वी फाइंड दॅट इट इज अन एक्झाम्पल ऑफ इन्वर्जन वेन यू लुक ऍट द सेंटेन्स टुडे ऑन अ बस वॉट विल बी युअर प्रॉपर सेंटेन्स टुडे आय सॉ अ लवली गर्ल with a silken hair on a bus that would be the proper statement generally but here we find that uh, the word form is changed because the poet did not want we can say that uh, if he would have used on a bus at the last so he may not have those rhyming word or rhyme effect so that's why what he did uh, what, sorry what she did she brought the on a bus words after today in the beginning and then the last word is hair so in this way we find that the rhyme scheme or rhyming pairs are formed so yes it is a poetic liberty that the poet takes so you can have the inversion 
yes ma'am yes sir he is understood and if uh, alliteration it's already uh, explained that okay the consonant sounds are uh, repeated we know that a e i o u they are vowel sounds and the rest are consonant sounds when you find that okay in the same line there are uh, one more than two or three more than two words uh, which begin with the same sound it's an example of alliteration and we are uh, given the practice of alliteration from i think standard 6 or 7 Uh, so when we think about apostrophe yes ma'am and they want to know about apostrophe apostrophe yeah, is I mean. when we uh, uh, meanwhile uh, the students might be uh, noticing that uh, uh, during the session i am uh, mentioning the uh, ma'am yes ma'am so i am asking her and she is also asking me so we are uh, referring to each other so this is an example of apostrophe whenever we say something uh, for any person so here we find that the poet is speaking to the god right whenever we find that such kind of example is there at that time it is called an example of apostrophe so it may be a person who is present or not present as well so here the poetess is addressing to the god address mujhe konashi bolta hai konala uddeshun bolta hai kisse baat kar rahe hain agar aisa kuch hai तो उसका नाम रहता है एंड ओ ओ मीन्स यू आर गिविंग यू आर आस्किंग दैट पर्सन टू पे हिज अटेंशन राइट सो दैट इज द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अपर्स ट्रॉपी एंड ऑन मैटोपिया ऑन मैटोपिया इट्स वट घर 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 कर 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 सो ऑल दीज वर्ड्स कन्वे द मीनिंग ऑफ द एम्सल्स so when you pronounce the word you get the meaning okay uh, there is no need to explain it right so there are some of the words when you speak those words when you have pronounced those words you get the clear cut meaning of those words and it's an example of on match a peer yes ma'am shall we move forward yes sir okay uh here uh, we have the activity sheet of last year and this is the activity that is given for you so uh, uh this is the assignment for your yes so not assignment but as yes, we'll go for it i'll read the poem aloud for you if you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you if you can trust yourself when all men doubt you but make allowance for their doubting too if you can wait and not be tired by waiting or being lied about don't deal in lies or being hated don't give way to hating and yet don't look too good nor talk too wise if you can dream and not make dreams you master if you can think and not make thoughts your aim if you can meet with triumph and disaster and treat those who two imposters just the same if you can bear to hear the truth you have spoken twisted by names to make a trap for fools or watch the things you gave your life to broken and stood and build them up with worn out tools so this is the poem so what is the first impression that you have you have to think about it so here you find that uh, there is suggestion if you if you if you and we have already studied this poem uh, that's why i think that uh, before going to the examination uh you are able to comprehend all the poems so here i am not spending so much of the time so we are moving to the activity that is given in the activity sheet so the a1 activity that is factual activity that is given in the activity sheet is match the following sentences and here we have two columns a and b so in column a we have uh the sentences and in column b we have the half of the sentences so can we get the answers we should not get angry when should we not get angry what is the correct option a b c d no answer sir just let them give some time yes sir you find that every sentence is different there is no connection Manjusha of manjusha saying b we should not get angry when others blame us 
when others blame us yes very nice because you when you look at the first two lines if you can keep your head keep your head means doka shanta thevne sar thanda rakhna right uh, when you go for the translation but yes the meaning of this phrase is phrase is uh, not to get angry keep calm patient okay and the second line says blaming it on you so here you find that okay it's a direct association you can get the answers directly that's why they are very simple so you find that this is the right answer we should consider what is the answer of the second so you find that second consider one. is not yes number 1 you find that the word consider is not there but yes you have learned the poem and make allowance for that means consider so here the answer is and what is the other part of that make allowance for their doubting too so the answer is quite uh, visible so uh, the answer is that when others doubt us we should treat two imposters now two imposters you will uh, easily find them are they in the first half or the second half the two imposters are they in the first half or the second half of the poem they are in the second half and what are they d the line itself suggests us and treat those two imposters just the same uh, d so answer they have given yeah it is easily found but yes you will have to think who are those two imposters and to find out that answer you will have to go back to the line before that that two words are there triumph and disaster so whenever you achieve something at that time you have a feeling of triumph but whenever you fail at that time you have feeling of disaster so you should treat them same whether you are successful or whether you are not successful so this is the complex meaning you this is reading be online but yes here you find that the answer can be found directly and as you are done with the three but yes again uh, as a student we should not as a child uh, we should not uh, think that okay i have completed the three answers and the fourth one is already there no think about the fourth one have the criteria whether it goes in a right way or not because in a haste you are likely to commit the mistakes you may be baffled so think about it and then go for writing here i have not asked you to write we are just having the discussion about the answers i haven't asked you to write the answers so we should trust ourselves and views and thoughts of others that is the right answer and after getting all the answers then go to the activity sheet go to the answer book and then write the answers okay is it clear yes sir okay uh, now after activity 1 we have activity number 2 write any four advices the poet has given in stanza number 1 so stanza number 1 is the first half of the poem so what are the advices so the first line gives one advice the third line gives another advice the next line gives another advice okay so what are they now here we find that the whole stanza is to be considered you have to select the facts from different parts and one part is not connected with the other part for example the first advice what is the first advice first two lines for this answer you are not repeating the statements or words given from the poem you have to write your own sentences you have to frame your own smaller sentences okay whether you are able to frame the small sentences or a complicated sentence set, it does not matter right only the creativity and the approach of the learners are to be tested here 
because no two students can write in the same way it will change according to the person so, so you one find... advice is don't hmm. be angry when anybody blames you very nice so that is one answer then when you go for the second we should trust yourself we should trust yourself means ka i believe in my qualities i believe in my abilities but i should consider whether uh, others are speaking that is true or not the third other third advice is that we should be patient wait means what yes patient being patient and the last advice is we should not hate anyone and the last answer we should not hate anyone as well as we should not boast talk too good nor talk too wise yes i know everything and i have all the answers if you have this kind of approach so again this is harmful for you so you can get the idea general ideas of it then after getting the general idea go for the specific ideas like we did in the previous comprehension uh, activities and then write your own answers no two children will write in the same way you can have your own style but yes the message that is conveyed can use other words but yes the message will be the same right so in this way you are about to write it so here uh, you can find that for two marks you are about to write at least a uh, 3 to 4 lines when you consider the lines 3 to 4 lines or when you think about the sentences at least four or five sentences are there for this activity complex factual activity i think the difference between the factual and complex factual is uh, quite uh, clear then we are moving to the activity number 3 that is poetic devices activity we can add our own rhyming words in the following pair so lies wise and you have to add your own words what are they lies wise is there any answer no sir same same rise lies wise rise very nice Same, same. You can write name. Game, game, game. Very nice. So here you have the liberty to answer in your own way. So not a single answer is to be recommended by the board. So now after doing all these things, we have to think about the same, same. Spoken, broken. so it's uh, we have only 5 minutes ma'am yes sir oh. i'll stop sharing and we can go for the questions if there are any so sir questions are not there but they have answer at the okay. rhyming word like mm -hmm. game same fool to okay that means they have understood the stanza mm -hmm. okay it's uh, okay ma'am uh, we have finished i think uh, 45 to 50 to 55 minutes uh, so shall we wind up yes sir you have covered all the questions sir right? yes yeah. so thank you sir Welcome, ma'am. Students, you all have any questions? No, they are saying they have. You have explained very nicely, Thank so they you, have understood. So I hope that uh, you will, and this will help you for the next session. Tomorrow we have uh, the. Uh, I think tomorrow we have the next session that is appreciation. Monday. If you uh, read the poem in this way, if you treat the poem in this way, you will be able to appreciate uh, it in a better way. So tomorrow our next speaker will uh, deal with this. So Monday. Yes, ma'am. Monday we have.
poem appreciation so yes, they have as asking me how to find out the central idea of the poem i think that will be dealt tomorrow i guess yes because it will be intuition then yes sir because i my focus is only on the comprehension and yes, tomorrow sir. based on this comprehension you can go for the next activities which will be covered tomorrow because it's a series that uh, as as i said that uh, i i i have continued from the last session of kavira sir right he dealt yes, with the simple factual activities complex factual activities and then uh, the uh, vocabulary activities and now i have moved forward one step towards the poetry and the next speaker will uh, move to the appreciation so it's a series yes. children don't be panic you will get everything uh, whenever the time comes yes ma'am so, so there's no questions questions yes. so thank, thank you, you sir Welcome, ma'am. It was ma really a wonderful session. Very explaining the in depth. So I request uh, Samina, ma'am, to propose a vote of thanks. Uh, thank you, Reni, ma'am. Good evening, everyone. On behalf of the members of Mnet, I would like to thank Mr. Avinash Rade. for volunteering his time and providing us with such an informative and engaging presentation on the topic of poem for comprehension the topic explained by you will be of immense help for the students and i hope our students will surely apply all the details explained by you i would also like to appreciate the constant efforts of mr nadeem khan for providing the necessary technical support to mnet many thanks to the host and convener mrs renu dhotre for organizing the series of webinars learn from home through the platform of mnet these webinars have enabled the students to stay updated with their knowledge and can be utilized by them i would like to expand our thanks to the participants for effectively participating in the learn from home series webinars held till date we look forward to such enthusiasm from our participants in the future as well once again a huge thanks to everyone have a great evening stay home stay safe thank you samina ma'am uh, thank you avinash sir and thank you all the teachers who are over here i thank everyone by end my session thank you abhinav sir thank you very much for such a one wonderful session thank you ma'am okay sir